Today we're talking about how to take care of these things. What's going on, Voter Geeks? Welcome to Geek Devotions, and this is Extra Tuesday. I'm so glad you hit the play button. Do me a favor, if you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the like button. If you'd like to get more content just like this and others, let us know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget the subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell symbol. If you hit that, you'll be notified every time we make an episode go live on this channel. That being said, today we're going to be talking about taking care of comic books. Why are we doing that? Because... Christmas time came around recently, and what did Celeste get me? Well, she went to my local comic book shop, Excalibur Comics, links down below, and got me some of my backlog. It's been a while since I've been able to pick up my comics, and so this was really special to me. So, um, I take care of my comic books, and today I want to teach you guys about how to take care of comic books, because it really is an interesting process that I learned years ago as a kid. So, quick backstory. Uh, when I started getting into comic books, I didn't know how to take care of them. I would actually just kind of throw them in this little uh, magazine rack that I had in my bedroom. And I'd fill them up. And it got so big that my comic books started ripping and tearing apart. And it really started to bother me. And so my mom, seeing that, she actually went down to the library and got me books on how to take care of comic books. And after I'd read them and gone through them and everything... She did something really cool. She got me my very first uh, valuable retro comic book. It was an old X-Men comic book, and I, I love it to death. I still read it today, and I take as good of a care as, of it as I can. And so part of taking comic books, there's a, there, taking care of comic books, there's several different aspects. Um, comic books today, uh, they're not like they used to be. These are actually nice premium style um, material that the pages are made out of. So they don't tear near as easily, and they don't... Uh, fade as much as they do, but they, you still have to be careful with them. You gotta be careful on how you treat them. You don't want them to bend and all that stuff. I'm not saying that these are worth millions in the future one day, like like they used to be uh, with some of the Golden Age comics. But you still want to take good care of them if you're a collector or just someone that maybe there's a couple books that man they really mean something special to you. So how do we do that? How do we take care of them? Some of you may be familiar with the term of bagging and boarding, and so the way that works out is you get some bags, and these right here. This is the BCW current, that's important, current age, that's what we're in today, uh, uh, polypropylene comic book bags. And these are really cool. Um, these particular bags have a little piece of tape on the back side of them. Let me pull it out for you real quick. Just like this. And on the back side, and you can't really see it right here, I'll try to give you guys a close up here in a second. But on the back side, you just kind of peel it off. And it has a little adhesive, and this folds over so that it keeps your stuff sealed. And I, I struggled with this at first. I had a when I first saw these coming out, I was like, ah, that's not that's not a good idea. It's gonna get stuck. It's not gonna be a good idea. But the more I used them, I really enjoy it. I can't tell you number of times I've struggled trying to find a scotch tape dispenser. <laughs> so they're really great. So what you do is you take the poly bags, and you take this thing right here. This is a, a board. It's a it's a cardboard board. Has a, a nice. A uh, dull spot and then a, a nice bright shiny one and you slide it in there and then you put the comic book in with it also and after you seal it up in there kind of press it just gently you don't want to be too, pre too too much pressure on it but seal it up just gently and you wrap it around and it's sealed it's good to go and you kind of want to store it upright and um, in a nice kind of dryish area you don't want to have a lot of extreme temperatures or anything because that will ruin the pages over time so after you've bagged and you've boarded them, what do you do with it? Well, you need to store them in a place. And there's a couple of different options that are out there for you. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple of them in a later episode. But today, I want to go over this the most basic way that you store your comics. This right here is a BCW storage comic book box. This is a, a short box. It's not a very big one. It's kind of a shorter one. They make ones that are called long boxes, and they're much longer. And normally, they're, they're a plain white cardboard-like style box. But this one is really cool decorated one uh, that I picked up at my local com local comic book shop. And this is the best way to store your comics, in my opinion. You just open it up, you slide them in there, and you're good to go. Store them in these boxes and in these bags helps keep some of the, the outside atmosphere from attacking the pages and, and crinkling your pages over time. And also, it's just a nice, easy, neat way of storing them out of the way so you don't just have pages everywhere. In the morning of me filming this, I just saw that BCW is putting out a new type of storage box that I'm going to try to get my hands on and do kind of a reveal and a walkthrough of what it is and what it looks like. I'm really very, very intrigued by these, and I hope to have that video for you guys very soon. So 
a uh, couple of really cool things one where can you get these uh, first off I always want to encourage you guys shop at your local comic book shop go down there uh, talk to the the guys working it there they'll be more than happy I'm sure to help you find the proper bags the proper boards and the proper storage facilities for your comics in the way that you collect things uh, if you have are collecting some older stuff uh, make sure you get the right kinds of bag again if you're getting the newer stuff make sure you get the current ones because they're sized just right for the current size of comic books but all that being said, if you if maybe you don't have a comic book shop near you, maybe uh, you're just not sure where to, where to, where one is, and and Google for some reason won't tell you where a decent one is. Uh, in the links down below, I have put links to all the stuff that I've just shown you guys. Uh, they are uh, Amazon affiliate links, so if you click on them, I do profit a little bit out of it. However, that's not why I'm doing this. I just want to make sure you guys get some decent quality stuff to take care of your comic books, because as someone who's a collector and someone who enjoys reading these stories. Um, I understand the desire to take care of them and make sure they stay nice for years to come. And quite honestly, I want to be able to share these with my kids one day. So that's it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's Extra Tuesday. Make sure you check out our Geek Devotions. They're on come up every Friday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, also check out our Bible study tonight. At t- It's a Tuesday. It's going to be tonight on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Geek Devotions. And check out our community page. Uh, the Devoted Geek Life. Uh, just type in Devoted Geek Life. We pop up. There's a lot of really great people in there for you to hang out, talk with, and uh, just, you know, have fun. So, love you guys. Have a fantastic week. Don't forget to stay devoted. Peace and love.